Maharashtra, a state in western India, is home to the third largest population of leopards in the country. These majestic felines once thrived in the scrub forests of the states. However, as sugarcane cultivation rapidly expanded, leopards began losing their natural habitats. Forced to venture closer to human settlements, leopards are coming into conflict with humans, risking their survival. In Maharashtra, leopards have begun utilizing vast sugarcane fields as shelter. So as sugarcane harvesting season comes and the farmers begin cutting down these mighty crops, they commonly come across leopards, specifically cubs left in the field as their mother prowls for food. Since 2007, Wildlife SOS has been working with the Maharashtra Forest Department to rescue and reunite these cubs with their mothers. One such cub, abandoned in a sugarcane field, was Simba. The young leopard quivered with fear, his eyes searching for signs of his mother. The Wildlife SOS team, operating out of the Manigdo Leopard Rescue Center, set out to work to reunite Simba with his mother. Despite several attempts, Simba's mother never returned, presumably having left the area, or worse yet, having succumbed to the perils of living in a concrete jungle. Leopard cubs are dependent on their mothers until the age of two years in the wild, and this period is absolutely crucial for the cubs as they learn survival skills from their mothers. Abandoned and unfit to survive in the wild, Simba was rehabilitated at the Manigdo Leopard Rescue Center. Dedicated to ensuring his well-being, our team worked around the clock to meet Simba's every need. He was hand-read by our care team who regularly fed him milk formula that helped him gain weight and strength in his nascent stages. Slowly, as Simba grew up, he was given solid foods such as eggs that facilitated his growth. Our goal was to preserve Simba's natural wild instincts and thus the leopard cub was placed in a vast enclosure that approximated his natural environment. With enrichments that pushed him to utilize his natural foraging instincts, Simba has grown up to be a healthy leopard. Unfortunately, Simba is unaware of how to survive in a jungle and will thus never be able to return to the wild. For us, raising a leopard cub is the absolute last resort. In an ideal world, Simba, who is currently one year old, would still be under the watchful eye of his mother as she taught him how to be a fierce leopard. He would prowl under the lush shrub forest where leopards truly belong. As we welcome Simba into the Wildlife SOS family, we continue to fight for a world where leopards no longer need rehabilitation. Leopards are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List, threatened by rapid habitat encroachment, urbanization and man-animal conflict, leopards are dwindling in numbers. Will you join the fight to conserve India's leopards? You can contribute towards Simba's care. Visit wildlifesos.org to find out more.